it's mini um i have to do a youtube channel because i haven't done one in like forever and uh yeah so um i walk around the house i was trying to think of what i'm gonna tell you guys for my channel and i don't know and it's just frustrating but i figured i'd just give you a little update of like running a business as a adult performer and running a business as a cam model and running a business as someone who works from home and makes money on the internet so i tackle essentially like we got camming we got performing like porn performing and then like making money on the internet so i tackle like a interesting enough i tackle very two audiences which is kind of cool and I, I i share with you what what i can share with you my life about it and uh yeah i'm just pretty excited about it because i've been doing it for a long ass time i've been doing it since 2003 where i dropped out of high school started making money online on the internet and there were just certain things that were coming up for me while i was watching youtube channels to get inspiration to make this video for you that um yeah i want to hit like so a lot of cam models they want to know how much money they can make and which is understandable but if they don't even ask them ask the question first of how many hours can you put in to doing this first because what you make is a complete result of how much effort you put into the work sure there's going to be slow times when you're online like sometimes your room will be very quiet or your regulars aren't online or um that like it, and it also and also there's a big difference of making money in private chat sites versus token sites so token sites are like my free cams but private based sites are like streamate uh, cams.com flirt for free um, basically sites I've been working in since day one 2003 and it's great that you know more cam models are making videos about being a cam model but there's a lot more that goes into that that i think cam models are missing so cam models tend to make videos where they complain about things that are happening on the job which they happen yeah but complaining about them doesn't solve anything because you're in an environment where guys in your chat room are assholes or they love you to death or they you get trolls but you get trolls just being on the internet posting content on the internet and that's just part of being on the internet like like I remember a time where in high school um, people in high school they want to make this th this poll on vote.com back in the day which is fucking old as fuck when you really think about it but yeah they use it to bully me online where online bullying back then wasn't a thing but now we know it is a thing and back to camming so camming it, it like you you need to build a certain mindset to understand that the job of camming is daily task boring daily tasks to have an end result at the end of the month or the end of the pay week so if you work a website that pays you twice a month like first and the 15 you need to make sure you work as many hours within that pay period so you er your earnings are what you want them to be or you set small daily targets every day to reach that goal. So when you have a slow day, either use a slow day to figure out how to convert your members in your room to be paying customers, because the paying customers who were the paying customers for the first time, you need to get them hooked into you so that they spend more money on you and they completely forget the fact that they're gonna have a giant credit card bill when that month comes. That's the thing about like customers that are in your room, they're brand new that they could have a credit card and I'm talking about like ones that are potential customers I'm not talking about the guys who are gonna be assholes in your room that are going to you know call you names or point out that you're fat or point out things that you just don't really want to talk about you have the ban button and an ignore button and even better yet you can log off for a period of time like log off for 10 minutes or log off for 15 and they may go find somebody else to bother or they may log off themselves so being online broadcasting you have a lot of power of when you want to broadcast and when you don't want to broadcast and then also filter out the people in your room so you keep your room engaging and fun and it doesn't drain your energy a lot of cam models don't do that at all and i don't know why i really don't 
So the next thing on here is like, so I made this chart and it's a link in the description of my way of the sites I work that I've been with for a very long time, how I can reach my goal of $100,000 a year of being a cam model on those websites. Mind you, big disclaimer, I have many other ways of making money on the internet that will reach my 100,000, like six figures goal faster. But I wanted to make it specifically for camming on those websites that I work that set me as a benchmark starting point to boost my confidence of how I make money. Like a new cam girl looking at a thing who's like, who doesn't work the amount of hours. I'm full time. Like, this is what I do. I wake up in the morning. This is what I do. I go to bed. This is what I do. I don't have college. I don't have a job. I don't have a knowing boyfriend. This is what I do, like 100%. So there's also that to consider. So I made this chart about how I want to make $100,000. And I broke it down literally down to a very interesting way. So I know every website has a minimum threshold of what they pay you. If you reach those earnings, they will send you a check. So that was my starting point. So I knew if I made the minimum threshold of earnings to receive my check from these websites and I do it on a daily basis, it adds up to six figures a year, which essentially to make six figures a year, you need to make either $300 a day or if you want to get creative and make it fun and like just like meta, um, you could make $365 a day online. So if that is your target to make $365 a day, which is before taxes, um, it's like gross. It's not even net take home because if taxes are in there, but you like, depending where you are in the world, taxes is something you have to just adjust as you do your taxes when tax time comes. I'm not talking about taxes. I'm just talking about you getting online and make the revenue that you need to feel like this is a real thing, you can do it, and then everything else you sort out on your own. I'm a full time at this, so I don't really have a lot of worries of who's going to find out and what about that. And plus also I'm not going to have children, so that's not even an issue for me either. It's just more of my nieces and nephews what their family will say about me, which, which, you know, I've learned to ignore them as much as I can. And why are we still recording? Oh gosh, wow, we have seven minutes, okay. So that's where I'm going to go at. And then the next thing is I've learned how to maximize my brand as a cam model to reach out at different industries on the internet, which is pretty fascinating. Like I've learned that I can put these cameras around my house so it, it, it broadcasts on a website and then people join on a membership to see me, which is kind of cool. This is really exciting for me. Investing in these cameras are really exciting for me. So that's the next thing on the level of being a cam model is I know that being a cam model on cam sites, that brings, that brings in the revenue. Then I use that to invest in other components of how I want to build my career, my business, my brand and put myself in different positions so I can market different products and services, which not a lot of cam models think that far, but you kind of want to. If this is what you're going to do and you're serious about it and you really like it and you're not thinking this is just to pay for college or pay off debts, like a short-term thing, then you need to really like make a plan of what you want to do so that you can have what you want to have. And yeah, and it's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. And then you also need to be able to filter out people who are not on board with your mission and cut them off. Like it's pretty good. It's fine to cut people off. Like really it is like, I don't care if you've been friends with them a long time or they're your boyfriend. If you have to cut them off, cut them off. Like that's it. Like just grow a pair and cut them off. The people that you don't need in your life, whether it's parents, friends, boyfriends, just cut them off. If they're not going to help you to what you want to get achieve and what you want to get to that you don't need them. And honestly, you could reach out to me on for, for that kind of support because you just don't need those people in your life. What else is there? Um, yeah, so the chart in the description, check it out about how to make $100,000 as a cam model. It's my way of doing it. Um, I may update results and how that thing is going, but I don't know. But I want to let you know that, um, yeah, being a cam model is kind of an awesome thing if you know what you want to do how you want to do it and how you see it for a long term because being a cat model as long as I have like 15 years and starting next year in March 
it's kind of awesome. So yeah, leave your comments below. Um, love to hear from you and uh, we will see you on. It cut me off. I was trying to say I'll see you on the next one. Smooches.